If you need some advice or looking for an idea, just to get some tips, you can get that right here. This is Lori's life. Yeah, this is Lori's life. Yeah, check out Lori's life. Yeah, this is Lori's life. If you need some advice or looking for an idea, just to get some tips, you can get that right here. This is Lori's life. Yeah, this is Lori's life. Check out Lori's life. Yeah, it's Lori's life. Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. I am jumping on here. I'm about to get ready to go to work. So I said, I'll do a get ready with me. I've already did my face as far as foundation, um, priming, moisturized prime foundation, highlight. So I said, let me go ahead and I'll contour and finish it up with you guys. And tell y'all about my wonderful weekend. I'm looking for a brush. Uh, I'm going to use this right here to contour with. Um, this weekend, my husband and I went on, I'm looking in the mirror, went on a um, marriage retreat that my mom had invited us to. And it was so much fun and we really needed it. Um, she's been trying to get us to go for about three years now, but it's always on the weekend of the Super Bowl. So my husband be like, uh, no. But this year he finally said yes. But y'all, let me tell you which was so funny. Um, we went to Myrtle Beach for the retreat. And it's like three and a half hours away from where I live at. So he said, uh, we're leaving at nine o'clock. You better be ready or you're gonna get left. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Trying to get home to get ready for the Super Bowl. So, I was like, cool, whatever. As long as he said he was going to go, I appreciated the fact that he was willing to go Super Bowl weekend. So I was like, cool, whatever. But we got there on a Friday. And Friday was, they had like a little meet and greet. We went and did a little shopping. I got a new bag out for early Valentine's Day gift. It's so cute. I don't have it nowhere near me, but it's really cute. A nice little Michael Kors bag my baby got me for Valentine's Day. A early gift and that that we would actually end up going to the grocery store because where we were staying had I'm gonna powder with this where we were staying at um, had a full kitchen it was like a condo so we ended up just getting some food and taking back and chilling out and the spot we was in, you was able to rent movies for free. It was really nice. It was called the Prince Resort. And it was like in North Myrtle Beach. So that was Friday. So we chilled Friday, rented movies, chilled at the hotel. And then the, re the retreat actually started that Saturday morning. I'm going to show you what I'm using this for my eye. And you know I'm going to work, so it's going to be real simple. And I'm going to go with... What is this color called? Blindsided. I'm gonna let you see it. Use that color. And so that Friday, that Saturday morning at 10 o'clock was the actual retreat. And you know, they had like some icebreakers and you got to talk to and figure out, see how long each person's been married, each couple's been married and stuff like that. They had some games and we won y'all. We won the, um, you see the pigmentation. Y'all know I'll be all over the place when I'm talking to y'all, but we won the newlywed game. When I tell you, it was so funny when we got back to our room, we had so many prizes. I was like, oh baby, it's like our honeymoon. We come back and open up all our gifts. It was really nice. My, they had a speaker, a couple that had been married for 38 years, and they had 12 kids, y'all. 12. I was like, woo! But the wife spoke a little bit, the husband spoke, and it was really, really nice. And um, one of the key things that I got out of this retreat was, he was saying how in the Bible where God allowed Adam to name the animals, and whatever he named them, that's what it was. And basically, you know how life and deficit power of tongue and how you speak things. He said, what are you naming your marriage? So if you're naming it and like, oh, it, it get on my nerves, we're going to get divorced. I can't stand him. Whatever you're putting out there is what you're going to get back. So watch what you name your relationships. So I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really, really good. 
And then he was saying how you have to make sure you have someone that's compatible to you, that can adjust to you. It was a really, really good thing. And then afterwards, all the couples got together and we all went to um, Crackle Barrel and Fellowship and ate. Y'all, this is pretty. And after that, we were supposed to go bowling, but um, was, we wasn't able to go bowling because it was... Um, it was too long of a wait. It was like a two-hour wait. I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush palette. And I'm going to go in probably with this color right here. And so we couldn't, you know, we didn't want to sit and wait all that time. So we ended up just leaving. And the whole group went to the little out shopping outlet. And then afterwards, we went back to my mom's in the room. And whoop they tail. Yeah, Dennis. Yeah, mama. We spanked that butt in the spades. And we had a great time. We went back to the room, watched some more movies, hung out. And then next day, went on back home. So it was really nice. Only thing was that it was cold. We didn't even set foot on the beach because it was so cold. I think the high was only in the, um, shoot, what, 40s, 50s? Cold is what it was. Uh, highlight the truth is what I'm going to use for a highlighter. So that was the gist of our marriage retreat. It was fun. We enjoyed ourselves. And if I, you know, if you have an opportunity to go on a marriage retreat, I would suggest you do it because... It gives you an opportunity to, you know, rekindle. It also gives you an opportunity to meet other couples. And then, you know, a lot of times you be thinking, your struggle is just your struggle, girl. No, we all be struggling with the same, same thing. Okay. I'm just set a little bit. Yeah, we all struggling with the same things in these relationships. Ain't nothing new under the sun. I got this Bare Minerals little kit. And it comes with an eyeliner. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me show you. All. You get an eyeliner, a little brush, a mascara. And it's like a powder where you can do your a powder liner. So I'm going to use this whole little kit. But yeah, it was good. Have you ever gone to a marriage retreat? If so, tell me how was your experience? Because mine was good. We're looking forward to next year. We really are. And the shopping, y'all. When I tell you the shopping was insane at the little outlets. And the guy was telling my stepfather it was because it was that time of year. They was having 60 70% off sales everywhere. 60 and 70% off sales everywhere we went. So y'all know we racked up, right? I didn't shop a lot because I hadn't planned on going shopping. That wasn't my plan. But I did get some a little bit of shopping in. I'm going to use this mascara from this Bare Minerals. And check out the wine. Okay, I'm going to put on a lippy, which is teddy bear. Because my eye is kind of bold, so I'm going to do a neutral lip. All right, y'all. This is my look for work today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know if you've ever been to a marriage retreat. Leave a comment in below on the and then leave a comment in the comment section. Y'all can't talk today. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so I can save you a seat at the grown women's table. And until the next video, bye bye, ladies.